Dumbledore beards. What are they good for? I will tell you what they're good for. See, in life, we have a certain need to grow a Dumbledore beard. Male, female, wh whatever, whoever you are, you need a Dumbledore beard. There are pros, there are cons, but I'm going to just say before we get into it that the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Pro number one. Do you know how easy it is to steal things with your beard? All you have to do is walk into a shop, grab your nearest hand sanitizer bottle, and then just sink it into your beard. It will have the length and power to hide it, and no one will suspect a thing. Shop employees tend to te check clothing, hands, and shoes, but they do not check beards, which is a definite flaw in not having a beard. If you find this immoral, this method can be used for carrying things as it were. Moving out, put your furniture in your beard. Got a priceless vase? Beard. Have a baby? You know where to put it. Number two, you will be appreciated by your family, friends, work colleagues, and daughters. Or at least their appreciation for you will raise dramatically and they will perform tasks of appreciation for you. Say you have a daughter and she doesn't feed the chickens. It's not a euphemism and don't look it up. But if you have a beard, then your daughter will, will no doubt want to feed these chickens with everything inside her. Not a euphemism. Number three, you shall become magic. There's a reason why it's called the Dumbledore beard. You could time travel, teleport, shoot lasers out of your beard. And if you if you don't want those powers, then what kind of person are you, to be honest? I'm, I know, I mean, no offense, but come on. You've seen Back to the Future. Look at all the time travel and lasers and teleportation that definitely happen all the time there. Cons! Now there are cons that come with these three wonderful things, and there are many more. I just, I just told you quite a small amount of them. There are three cons and most of them aren't very bad. And I shall begin with number one. Number one, people may laugh at your expense because of your beard and they will not appreciate its glory, which can be a problem. But the beard itself raises your self-esteem so high that you cannot think badly about your beard. You could think badly about other things and they could insult other things and that the beard would not change that unfortunately. Yes, it would. I've changed my mind, it would. Because you know that they're jealous. They're jealous of your beard. Your, your beard is everything that you need to be. Everything. Number two. Your beard may become stuck in objects as you walk past them, given it's so long and glorious. And now while it may glorify whatever it touches, the problem at hand is it might rip off your beard. Because this beard can just come off. It's not just a normal grown beard. It's... It's a Dumbledore beard. Number three. You have to be really passionate to have the right beard. You can begin growing a beard, and after a certain amount of time, the beard gods will look upon you and then decide if you have the right passion and determination inside you to really deserve a beard. And if you don't feel that, you have to commit a human sacrifice, and they're very rude, and you don't want to upset the neighbors. Again. That was a weird day. And you also have a choice when they decide to grace you the beard automatically and immediately so you can gain the magical powers and other benefits of glorification that come with. You may choose the Michael Gambon beard or you might choose the Richard Harris beard. The first of these is more aggressive and fluffy. The second is less aggressive but a bit longer. It could get in the way, but only in the way of evil which I do not condone. I, myself, am constructing my own beard, and soon the beard gods will recognize my own passion, and they shall spout out a Dumbledore beard across my face, down past my face, to my chest. There will be no need for a tie. Why do you need a tie if you have a beard to cover it? Ties are meaningless in the new beard utopia. The beard utopia that fascists aim to destroy with their anti-beard laws and all the manly men who disgrace beards with their sexism and therefore make beards look bad because it's a sign of manliness, which in itself is a form of sexism because they're expected to reform masculinity and that is really quite gender rolling the whole situation and I think that that should be prevented and I am a man who will soon have a beard to stop this. Good day, sir.